Hola, espero que estén muy bien. Yo soy Juan Arbeláez, profesor asistente en el Departamento de Ciencias Agrícolas acá en la Universidad de Illinois. Hello, I'm Juan Arbeláez. I'm an assistant professor of international plant breeding in the Department of Crop Sciences. So I am originally from Colombia and I did my undergraduate in biological sciences. And besides the academic environment, I didn't meet too many scientists back then. That was until I got to do an internship at SIAD, that's the International Center for Tropical Agriculture. And SIAD is part of this international network uh, of centers that work to improve the livelihood of farmers around the world. And over there, I got to meet a lot of scientists that specialize in different disciplines, all of them working to either improve crop productivity or the nutritional value of crops uh, in different type of crops that are not necessarily those main staples that we're familiar with. Uh, things like dry beans, cassava, or even tropical forages uh, for um, cows in tropical regions. So that experience uh, really uh, gave me that great perspective that you can be a scientist and, and use what you've learned uh, in college to really uh, apply that to improve the livelihood of people around the world. So before I joined the University of Illinois, I was working at the International Rice Research Institute and I was part of a group in the plant breeding department that was working to redesign uh, the rice breeding strategy. Uh, and, and this program is one of the largest rice public breeding programs in the world. And we got to use uh, and integrate different tools from statistics, from molecular biology, from genomics, to really create a robust uh, breeding strategy that hopefully we can use in the next 20 years to increase the rate of genetic gain or the productivity of rice around the world. And while we were doing that, I had the chance to create workshops and uh, teach other rice breeders uh, from different programs around the world about how to use some of these tools and incorporate that in their own breeding programs. So I'm very proud of this effort. I, I think it's, um, it's going in a good direction and, um, and we're going to see in the future uh, a lot of good rice varieties that are coming out uh, from all this work that uh, uh, we did in the International Rice Research Institute. What I like about my work in international agriculture is that I get to travel a lot and I really love traveling. Ever since uh, my undergraduate, I got to travel to many different places around the world, in Africa, in Asia, in Europe, in South America. And I really enjoy uh, getting to know about other cultures. So uh, that's been probably my favorite hobby. And in second place is diving. So I wanted to be a molecular, uh, a marine biology first. And, um, and thankfully I decided to go for, for plant sciences, uh, but I still enjoy diving a lot. Definitely Darwin's playground uh, or where the blobs are. Uh, that's in the IGB Plaza. And that's not only my favorite place, but that's my daughter's favorite place. She loves playing around the sculptures. Her favorite one is the red one. And I probably have about a hundred pictures of her playing there. So uh, it brings me a lot of great memories and I love going there in the weekends.
So I heard about the University of Illinois when I was uh, a PhD student. There is a long-term plant breeding experiment, very famous, that was designed and conducted here at the University of Illinois. And being part of uh, ACES and the Department of Crop Sciences allowed me to mentor and teach that next generation of plant breeders. So I'm so excited uh, about our current times. I think we have uh, so many tools and innovations that can help us to guarantee food security, to improve the nutritional value of crops. And I think plant breeding will play a big role on that. And I really hope to contribute in that effort by training students that are passionate about it, that really want to help humanity. And I think being in a great university and a great uh, college like ACES will, will allow me to do that.